right now. We are counting 18 seconds. All together, please. And we are starting right now. You are counting? You are counting? You don't have to count out loud, guys. You have to just count. Sudden, right now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Just right now, while we were sitting in this comfortable, light, and warm room, you were counting, and I was counting. Five people somewhere in the world just died from starvation. This is the statistics, ladies and gentlemen. Every 3.6 seconds, someone dies of hunger in this world. And I have visited places, I have meet, met a lot of people, different people. Right now, I'd like to share some of my pictures with you. Here they are. I'm actually on one of them. This is me with my girlfriends back at home. And this happy couple who look very comfortable on this tree are my parents. They look very happy. On this picture, you can see my fiance. He looks very happy because he has me and he has his head. So <laughs> he's happy. And these kids are happy just because they have no problems. They look that they're having fun and they have everything they need. So they have very beautiful <coughs> and bright smiles. This picture was taken in Egypt. And these kids, for some reason, don't have the same bright smiles on their faces. Because they live in the street. And what can we do about it, right? Can we actually do anything about it? I would like to give the idea, I, I would like to guess that everybody in this room has a wish or a desire. And if you don't mind, I will just make a couple guesses. I would guess that Professor Cisco really desires to go to a TED program and to make her presentation there. <laughs> Most probably, Laura really wants to go somewhere with her husband and have a nice vacation. Most probably, Brooke really desires to get promoted at her job and get a better payment. Probably, Jihan wants to get done with her degree, get her master's degree, and, and that's it. She's, she's just tired to go to school every week. As for Kute, well, Kute probably wants a car because it's just hard in Providence without a car. Now I have a question for you. What do you think these people are dreaming about? Do you think they're dreaming about a vacation or a car? Do you think they're dreaming about being promoted at work? I would like all of us to stop for only one moment and think about our desires in life. I would like us to just think about what we want and why we get so upset and so easily and so often about those things that don't even worth it. And other people just die every three seconds because they have nothing to eat. And we always complain about everything. All of us always complain. This is wrong, that is wrong. We always complain that we are cold. And other people just have each other to cuddle and not die from being frozen in the street when it's really cold. We always complain that we have nothing to wear. And other people really have nothing to wear. We always want a bigger house or a bigger apartment we, we just want something bigger all the time and people don't even have shelter to sleep. We always about complain about the way we look, whether we're thin or whether we're fat, always complain. And some people re look really scary just because their life put them in these conditions. We always complain about the food we eat and how much food we actually throw away all the time when people just don't have any food to eat. 
we always want more and more. And the last question I have is, why is it happening like this? That those people who have everything always want more and they're never satisfied and keep complaining all the time. And those people who don't have anything just die because they don't have this last piece of bread or a sip of water not to die from starvation. However, the situation is possible to be changed and we all can make a difference. Every single one in this room can make a difference. I have brought a little box with me right here. I'm going to leave it on the table and I'm going to bring this box after the class to the director of the office activities at Johnson Wales University because this lady constantly raises money for poor countries and right now she's raising the money for Haiti because right now the Relay Week at Johnson & Wales uh, is uh, raising the money for Haiti as it is now it is today the poorest country in the world. So I really think that they will appreciate if this box won't be empty. Of course you don't have to leave anything in this box but you can just think about making actions in your future life if you feel like you want to leave something in this box today, you are absolutely welcome. And as Alan Sean Feinstein said, to better one life is to better the world. So everybody in this room can make a change. Thank you.